This is the first section of chapter three on representations of data, and this section is on outliers. Well, first of all, an outlier is an extreme value that does not appear to match the rest of the data that we're looking at. Now, this could be an actual value, or it could actually be an incorrect data value. Uh, so that's why this data appears to be a lot different from everything else. Now we need to, a way to identify outliers and here's a common way to identify an outlier. So any value which is greater than the upper quartile plus some multiple of the interquartile range or of any value which is smaller than the lower quartile minus some uh, multiple of the interquartile range. Now this multiple here will be given it's often things like uh, 1.51 or um, two, um, but this value of k will be given. And by doing this calculation, anything larger than this value will consider as an outlier, anything greater than that, or anything smaller than this value, we will consider also as an outlier. Now, when we identify outliers and we remove them from our data, this process of removing outliers from data is called cleansing. Example one, the blood glucose of 30 females is recorded. The results are shown here below. An outlier is an observation that falls either 1.5 times the interquartile range above the upper quartile or 1.5 times the interquartile range below the lower quartile. You want to find the quartile and then find any outliers. So this 1.5 is the value of k. So since we've got discrete data here, we want to find the positions of the quartile. So we're going to start by finding the position of the lower quartile, q1. So the way we do that is we turn that quartile into a fraction, which is a quarter, times by the amount of data we have, number of data values, which is 30. So a quarter of 30 is 7.5. Now remember, when you have a value which isn't a whole number, you round it up. So the eighth value is the upper quartile, sorry, the lower quartile. They're all in order. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Q1 is 3.2. We're gonna do the same for Q3, the upper quartile. So the position of Q3, we do three quarters of 30. That is going to be 22.5. So we round that up, it's the 23rd value. And we're gonna count through to the 23rd value and find it might be easier to count down from the 30th value. So 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. And the 23rd value is 4.0. So Q3 is 4.0. Now, should we include uh, Q2 or not? I suppose, strictly speaking, it's a quartile, even though we'd probably call it the median. So half of 30, which is 15. So it means it's between the 15th and 16th value. That should be quite easy to find because I think we've got 15 numbers on each row. So it's between 3.8 and 3.8. So it's going to be 3.8. Moving on to part B, we want to find any outliers. So we want to find if there are any lower outliers. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to do Q1 minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, which is Q3 minus Q1. So that calculation is going to be 3.2 minus 1.5 times by 4.0 minus 3.2. That gives a value lower than two. So any values lower than two are going to be outliers. So we have 1.7 there and um, we'll write those all down in a moment. Actually, let's write it down now. So uh, 
lower outliers, we just have 1.7. Right, let's find if there are any upper outliers, any values that look like they're too big. So that's going to be Q3 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. So that is 4.0 plus 1.5 times by the interquartile range, which is 4.0. Minus 3.2. When we do that calculation, that gives us 5.2. So any values bigger than 5.2? No. So there are no our upper outliers. So the only outlier that we've identified is 1.7. And we might write down here no upper outliers. Example two, the lengths in centimeters of 12 giant African land snails are given below. Part A, we need to calculate the mean and standard deviation given that the sum of x is 252 and the sum of x squared is 5468. Right, so we've got the sum of x, we've got the sum of x squared, the only other thing that we need is n, and it says 12 giant snails, so n is 12. Just a reminder of our formula, if you want to find the um, standard deviation, well actually let's write our formula for the mean. So that's going to be the sum of x over n, so that's 252 over 12. It gives a value of 21. So there's our mean x bar is 21. And then the other thing that we need to do is to calculate the standard deviation. So let's write down our formula for the standard deviation. It's going to be the positive square root of the sum of x squared over n minus the sum of x over n. Now remember this part here is the mean so that we can put 21 here straight off so standard deviation positive square root of sum of x squared which is 5 4 6 8 divided by n which is 12 minus the mean squared so minus 21 squared what does that give us for the standard deviation right so we've got 3.8297 so we'll take that to three significant figures. So 3.83 for our standard deviation. Right, let's move on to part B. It says that an outlier is any value or is an observation which lies um, plus or minus two standard deviations from the mean. Identify any outliers for this data. So this is another way of identifying outliers is by adding or subtracting a certain amount of standard deviations from the mean. So we need to do the mean plus or minus two standard deviations. So let's start with the mean plus two standard deviations. This will give us any upper outliers. So that's going to be 21 plus two times this 3.83. So that gives 28.66. So this is our limit for any upper outliers. Now, any, are there any values bigger than 28.66? Yes, there's one here. And now we'll do the mean minus two standard deviations. So 21 minus two times 3.83. Let's see what that gives us. So that gives us 13.34. So that's where our limit's going to be for any lower outliers. So we're looking for any values smaller than 13.34. There are none. So we'll just write down that there are no lower outliers. 
the only outlier the only outlier is that upper one which is the 32 and the units are in centimeters so 32 centimeters there is our only upper outlier so you should now be able to do exercise 3a on pages 42 to 43 of the textbook